Okay, while we wait for the fires to get going the way we want them, we're gonna spray a little duck fat on here for a binder. This is just a regular old, I think this is a little dough. It's a really small neck. Oh, got a little piece of dirt on there. So find that dirt, cut it out of there. All right, so we're back at it. Finish spraying it down real good. All right, get some pepper. I honestly don't think you can put too much pepper on some meat. So, hands clean though. I just cut the neck right off at the base of the head and the, uh, and the top of the shoulders. I'll throw some salt on it. I'm going to put too much salt because I know when we get her cooking, we're going to put some other seasonings in there and most everything has some salt in it. So. friends from South Africa got this look at that expiriers 91523 too bad but uh yeah so this is six gun I got that from South Africa I'll put it in a, a shaker so it's easier to work with give it a good coating all right, she's good, ready to go. Go out and check the fire. All right, so we just built a little fire. I got some mesquite from the woods. Got a little fire going. I just want to use the fire to get a nice little sear on this meat. So we'll just let it sit on there for a couple minutes each side and let her, uh, let her do her thing. Start soaking in some of that good mesquite heat and smoke. It's simple, real simple. Let it sit for two, three minutes on each side, roll it around. So one of the things I'll tell you, when you cook it this way, you don't have to worry about all that silver skin and the tendons and the bones and all that stuff because by the time we're done cooking it, all that stuff's either gonna cook down or separate and we can pull it out. And I'll show you what I mean later, but just so you're, if you're worried, you're freaking out like, oh my God, there's bones in it. Or, oh my God, look at all that silver skin on there. When you cook it this way, you don't have to worry about that. It becomes part of the meal or so visible you can separate it out and it is just delicious. All of that stuff in there is part of the flavor and the texture. Oh, it's so good. Like... Oh yeah, see that little sear going on the outside of it? Looking good. So when we get done doing this, we're gonna go put it on the Green Mountain Grill. We're gonna smoke it for four hours. Most meat can only take smoke up to about three and a half to four and a half hours. After that, you're just making it dry. You're just drying it out and you're not getting, there's no more smoke penetrating the meat. So we're just gonna go for a four hour smoke. All right, we're just stuck it in the Green Mountain Grill. Just lay it in there on that tray. We're gonna smoke it at 250 for the next four hours. Next, we're gonna put some, uh, I usually use beef broth, but we didn't, I didn't have any. And I thought, when I looked in there, I thought we had some, but we don't. I'm gonna fill it about, uh, just get a good filling on the bottom maybe a third of the way up with some broth. And this is just moisture for the veggies and the meat to draw up. All right, now I gotta put some Wash Your Sister Cherie sauce in there. Just give it a good flavoring. Wash Your Sister Cherie sauce. And we'll throw some soy sauce in there. A little dab of you. Now she's gonna go back in for a couple hours. We're gonna do two more hours just like this, and then we're gonna pull the meat off the bone. Should be ready to pull off the bone in two hours. It's been uh, another two hours. 
Hopefully it's falling off the bone by now. So stand by, let's look at it. I'm going to get, try to get a, as much of it off the bone as we can. It should be pretty close to falling off the bone. If it's not, we can come back in about another hour or so. Oh, no, nope, it's still kind of tough. That's all right. Brussels sprouts, we're just gonna put a few in there just for so we have something to snack on. They got a nice little tangy taste to them. Throw some carrots in there for her. And throw a couple of cauliflowers in there. And then last, I'm gonna throw some marshmallows in there. Maybe a couple of, a couple of these here. Baby Bellas. Oh yeah. Almost fell out. All right, that's about as much as it's gonna fit in there. Now we'll wrap it back up, put it back in for, I think we got about another two hours. Wrap it up as tight as you possibly can, just to try to keep as much steam and heat inside of the can. Unboxing. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah. So there you have it. Potatoes. Oh yeah, they're done all the way through. I gotta hurry up and do this because UT's playing right now. I got it mute muted. Give a little salt and pepper. I never taste anything until after I salt it and pepper it. All right, here goes the taste test. Let's see how oh, tender the meat. Eh, it's pork tender. Oh yeah. All right. Mm hmm. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Don't forget, click like, click subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notified. Thanks for watching.